Okay, so let's look. We looked a moment ago. Uh, we looked at the happy day case where a cell is surrounded uh, on you know top, bottom, left, right by other cells, uh, and that's you know that's the majority case. Slightly trickier is the case where a cell is what well, we've got a couple couple things to consider. A cell can be on the top, along the top edge. It can be along the bottom edge. Uh, it can be along the right edge. It can be along the left edge. Um, you'll find that when we're, we're going to need to handle these cases. Now you'll find if you think about it, the checks are are really quite simple. You just you've got to be very methodical and very disciplined about it. Um, so our strategy. Uh, is we're going to bound the search area or bound you know the check area the area we're going to check and we want to avoid we want to avoid the you know the dreaded array index out of bounds exception um, again yeah it's not so dreaded everybody will get them um, so but bottom line is we want to bound the search area what does that mean we want to identify the rows uh, the, the rows, uh, and on the case of the left and right, the columns, uh, where where we can search and where we can't search. Um, so I've got two cases here, some pseudocode, uh, where we're checking for the top and the bottom. Um, checking for the left and the right is, is really not much different at all. Uh, but in this case, we're, we're going to look at uh, top and bottom. Uh, so let's begin. We'll look at our check for the top edge. So what are we going to do? Um, your pseudocode looks like this, and truth be told, the code you're actually going to write not not hugely different. Uh, so you're moving through, and I want to check if my cell, my cell of interest, located at row call, is a top edge. Um, Let's suppose that it is. You know, let's suppose the answer, you know, this if statement, uh, this evaluates to true. If cell row call is a top edge, yes, that's true. That means that the minimum row where I can check for neighbors, the minimum row index where I can check for neighbors is just the index of the row I'm in. Uh, let me say that again. It means that the minimum row index where I can check for neighbors is simply the row I'm in. Recall our strategy on the happy day case. We looked at uh, row R minus 1, the row immediately above. We looked at the row the cell is in, row R, or this is row, uh, and we looked at the row uh, immediately underneath row plus one. If I'm on the top edge, I can't check in row minus one. I'm guaranteed to get an array index out of bounds exception. So the minimum row where I can check is just row. Um, notice the, the else, the else, this is just the, the happy day case. The minimum row is row minus one as we looked at a moment ago. Uh, let's look at the bottom edge here. And this is, this is really the same case uh, just just uh, we're looking for the bottom not the top so here same sort of thing if cell row call is a bottom edge um, so if this evaluates if this boolean evaluates to true the maximum row I can check in is row what does that mean what was our strategy we checked above row I'm in and row below if I'm in the bottom row or the bottom edge, I can't check the row below. There is no row below. So the max row I can check is just row, the row row that I'm in. Notice here the else statement, if this when this statement is false, the else statement um, is again back to the sunny day case. Maximum row is just row plus one. So so this is and and Think about this a little bit, and if, if this is not immediately obvious to you, well, your best friend is to get you know get your notebook out 
and work through some of these yourself and prove it to yourself. Do some cases where cells are in the top row or the bottom row. Um, how do I know if something is in the top row or the bottom row? Uh, well, let's check. Let's take a look at that. So here are two. Here are two. Uh, these are two separate test cases, but one is checking for the top edge and one is checking for the bottom edge. And I think you'll see. You'll see if you don't see already. You'll see pretty quickly when we distill this down to you know simple simple checks. This this really is pretty easy. Um, so I'm working through, let's take our first case up here. I'm working through my grid. I'm going through through each cell. And I'm at cell 0, 1. Um, I want to, and you know, I'll do this for every cell. But I want to check to see uh, if cell, the cell that I'm in is a top edge. So how do I do that? Um, pretty easy. If I'm in row 0, I'm in a top edge. And it's as simple as that. Um, so I just check the index, the indice uh, for the row. If it's 0, I say yes, I am in uh, a top, uh, you know, top edge. And the minimum row where I can search for neighbors is row zero. I can't do the R minus, you know, the row minus one thing to check the row above because there is no row above. I will get an array index out of bounds exception. Uh, bottom edge, same deal. Yeah, same deal. Here we've got cell cell four three. Um, I want to check to see is cell four three a bottom edge. How do I know that? Well, I ask myself. Am I in the bottom row of the grid? Um, how do I know I'm, if I'm in the bottom row of the grid? Well, you're the boss. You define uh, the size of the grid. And the, uh, you define it, but I, this is also something that you want to propagate out to the user interface. You want to ask the user uh, how big how big of a grid. You know, how, how big of a grid do you want to try? Um, and depending on how you do that, you'll take the user inputs and you'll build your grid accordingly. Let's consider, just for the sake of discussion, that we had a grid of 100 by 100. How do I know I'm in the bottom, uh, you know, the bottom row, the bottom edge? Um, is it, is the index, index 100 for the row? No, it's not 100, right? It's it's 99. Remember, because the indices start at 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, blah, 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 97, 98, 99. So if I'm in, if the row index is 99, the answer to the question is yes. And the maximum row to search for neighbors is, is row, in this case, the case of this example, row 4. If I try to ch search in row 4 plus 1, there is no row four plus one, so I will, I'm guaranteed to get an array index out of bounds exception. Um, so, so that's the that's the strategy for checking for edges. We'll continue and we'll look at a possible program structure in the next video.